sea of colorful candles on the sidewalk surrounds the Bronx Deli, where police say the 15-year-old was killed by alleged gang members in a case of mistaken identity. CBS News' Natalie Dutchert is live in the Belmont section where the funeral service has just ended. Natalie. Well, Chris and Mary, it was a packed funeral service filled with emotion. It's been a week since that teen known as Junior was killed. And today he was remembered as doing community work, volunteer work in his neighborhood, as well as having a constant bright smile. Calls for justice for Junior rang out as the casket with the body of 15-year-old Lisandro Guzman Feliz is carried by his father, wiping away tears. The teen's mother standing strong amidst her grief outside Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church, where the family regularly attended Mass, but today said goodbye to their beloved son, known as Junior. Emotion high, Junior's father was among loved ones wearing Yankees jerseys, a team Junior passionately cheered for. He is remembered as a cheerful kid who loved pepperoni pizza, video games, and had a passion to one day become a police officer. He wanted to save people. So that was his desire to become a cop. But that goal was cut short. A priest close to the family says they're still trying to cope with Junior's horrific death. Fatally stabbed outside a Belmont bodega last week in a case of mistaken identity. Here's a mother going through the most difficult thing that anybody could go through. And she is full of faith. She is full of resolve, certainly justice for Junior, but saying no to retaliation, saying no to vengeance. No vengeance against eight alleged Trinitarios gang members who police say chased Guzman Feliz down, believing he was the teen seen in a Snapchat video allegedly having sex with a cousin of one of the gang members. Cell phone video shows the teen running to reach the hospital one block away, but he collapsed and died outside the emergency room. It's really affecting me. I cry every single day. Like, I, I, I cry every single day because it's like you don't have to know somebody to feel the grief and the pain. Justice for all! Every night since his death, the crowd grows outside the bodega where he was killed, and so does the candlelight vigil, so large it has shut down the street. And the morning now turning to calls for action to keep youth in the community safe and away from gang violence, and the family also calling for all of those involved to be put behind bars for life. We're live in the Belmont section of the Bronx. Natalie Dutters, CBS 2 News.